Out of the tragedy have come stories of heroism like this one. A state trooper kept a teenager out of the path of the runaway semi. Her car had a dead battery. The trooper got it out of the way moments before the truck sped through. That trooper has wondered what happened to the teenager. Well, today he got some good news. Our Michael Abeda is in Lakewood tonight. Michael? Yeah, Kathy, there was news he was grateful to get because ever since that accident happened, that state tro trooper Joshua Furman wondered what happened to that woman he helped just minutes earlier. Um, got an I-70 bumper to bumper traffic because of that crash that was ahead of us. Trooper Joshua Furman was headed home Thursday when he got caught in traffic. Just before the Denver West exit, he noticed a young woman was broken down on the highway. So he did what he's supposed to do. Got out, checked on her, said her battery died, so I pushed her off the road. He took the off ramp and continued east. Seconds later, <clears throat> I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw smoke. And then a lady had pulled up beside me and started honking and pointing backwards. So I notified my dispatch of the smoke and asked him to send a fire truck. And uh, got out of the car, and as I was going back, everything became completely engulfed. A semi truck carrying lumber slammed into traffic on eastbound I 70, causing a huge fire and multiple explosions. 28 vehicles were involved, and four people were killed. Trooper Furman tried to go back to save people, but it was impossible at the moment. The fire was hot enough we couldn't get close to it. So we got busy making sure people got away from the inferno. And then a thought popped into his head. What happened to the girl he would just pushed off the highway? I would asked if anybody knew where she went because I hadn't seen her. And nobody had seen her up to that point. That weighed on me quite, quite heavily. It was almost like a train because it was going so fast. 17-year-old Isabel Witter is the young woman Trooper Furman helped. She says she was feet away from being part of the tragedy. It passed about, I think, two or three feet away from my car um, before it exploded. She says that he didn't know it, and neither did she at the time, but the trooper saved her life Thursday. If the trooper hadn't been two or three cars behind me and I was stopped in that lane, I, I might have been the first car that was hit. Trooper Furman found out Friday she was okay, but Isabel can't wait to thank him herself. Just knowing she's okay is good enough for him. So that was a huge weight lifted off my shoulders when I found out. Now, Ms. Witter is surprisingly okay. She doesn't know how she made it out okay, but she says her heart is heavy and aches for those who lost loved ones in this accident. In Lakewood, Mike Laveta covering Colorado First.